for over 3,700 yards, 25 total touchdowns in four seasons with the Philadelphia Eagles. He is now the lead back in Carolina. If Carolina got to the Super Bowl, I think they'd give him the ball more. That's what I would say to my guy, Miles Sanders. How are you? I like that one. I like that one right there. I'm I mean, good. just How give you? you the ball. I was there. You were there. What? I don't know, man, but, you know, everything works out for itself, you know. Yeah. So. You like where you are. Listen, you you got out of the state of Pennsylvania. You grew up near Pittsburgh. You went to Penn State four years in Philadelphia. Now you're little new vibes, right? Carolina. What's it been like? I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, being me being from up north, uh, being out here in the south, and you know, uh, got a got a house out here in South Carolina too. So um, it's just beautiful, you know, and peaceful. Uh, I'm, I'm loving, loving every everything about it. The, the people here are amazing. Uh, they they so kind here. It's, it's weird, you know. It's like <laughs> obviously night and day from Philly and, and Carolina, but uh, I'm loving it though. I remember we did a, an Instagram live during pandemic, and you did not have a house. I think you were at your mom's house. I think they were like making food, like right right in the shot. If you remember, you probably don't remember, but that was 20, 2019. What has changed most about you? Oh yeah, yeah. What has changed most about you, meaning, like, what's evolved the most? What are you most proud of growth-wise from even just back then when you were so young in the league? Um, honestly, when, I, when uh, what I'm doing, you know, off the field, uh, mm. you know, uh, the stuff that I'm doing with the camps, you know, the kids, you know, uh, I just got my foundation up and running. Okay. And so everything, so everything I'm doing uh, right now is is going towards my foundation and stuff like that. Uh, just trying to, you know, focus on the youth and, you know, uh, just try to impact them in any type of way as possible. You know, I, I have an idea that I want to do just with my mom, just trying to create certain type of facilities or, or, um, Rick, like little centers for kids, you know, where they come and go do whatever, you know, basketball, you know, all the sports, you know, but come in, like do homework, um, tutor, uh, learn about financial financial stuff that like you know financial literacy and all that type of stuff you know just trying to really really dig deep into the into the youth and you know try to you know these guys are going to be the future in and and how many years and you know just trying to impact them as much as possible and and honestly uh yeah just just figuring out you know you know growing up you know uh getting to the league and Stuff's a little different, but when you have a couple years in league, you kind of realize a lot of stuff. You learn more about yourself. So yeah, you know, I got a I got a new baby boy I was born to, so I'm blessed for that. What's his name? Mm. Amari. Amari, congratulations! That's amazing. And yeah, even like thanks. your youth camps, you were always a part of. You do in Pittsburgh. Now I saw that you had them in Charlotte now, which is yeah, great. Yeah. And it's all about giving, giving. You know what? It, what I mean, being a dad. What's that like? Oh, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. I ain't he's uh he's crazy just like me. I, I guess I was that crazy when I was younger. But um no, he's it's amazing though. I'm embracing everything about it and uh everything's going really well. So what's it like? You know, I imagine you're you're in Philly, the fans are different for sure. The expectations are super different though. Like Philly, you know, like if Jalen Hurts doesn't get the one seed this year, it's a disappointment, right? If that team doesn't do their thing. Whereas in Carolina, like the expectations are a little less. Like people, it, you would be surprising teams. Do you like that? I like that you guys aren't being talked about. Uh, yeah, you know, I like being the underdog all the time. Uh, everybody likes that. All that attention just, just, you know, creates a whole bunch of problems, you know. Um, but we're over here working hard, though. We're over there creating a standard that we're all living up to and, and just working and grinding every day. We know how much work that we have to do. We know that we're, you know, a team trying to, you know, get there and, and prove everybody else wrong first. And that starts first by, you know, winning the division, of course, and mm -hmm. and doing all that type of stuff. But, uh, yeah, we're just locked in each and every day, taking it one day at a time and, uh, you know, getting to learn my new teammates. They're awesome. Uh, Bryce is awesome. Thielen's awesome. Everybody's <laughs> awesome on the team. I'm, I'm loving it here. And, uh, I, I'll just say, don't be surprised, you know, don't Ooh. be surprised, but we're, we're over here working. And you don't have to meet everybody. You don't have to meet your running back coach. That's a guy you know, right? You got Deuce yeah. Daly. What's that? How's that going? That's my guy right there. <laughs> you know, he, he's still crazy. He's still crazy, but he loves this sport. And um, he tells us all the time he he lives through us, you know, and that's why he puts so much energy and, and love and passion into this game. 
and he's just locked in 24-7. He brings the energy, the juice, and practice. He's, you, you, you'll you think he's out there playing with us. You know, he's, he's talking after every play, talking trash to the defense, <laughs> trying to get them, get their best out. And, yeah, it's, it's just a good vibe and good competitive vibe during during training camp, OTAs, and and now we're about to start the season and start this journey. So, um, But everybody's locked in and ready, and everybody's embracing Deuce as well, too. So, I just want to say, you I mean, you had a career year. I'm expecting big things. Like you had 1,269 mm -hmm. yards with Philly. The Panthers, my friend, their single season rushing record, not by Christian McCaffrey, by D'Angelo Williams back in 2008, 1,515 yards. Will you be featured in this offense to make that possible? We'll see. You know, you know me. You know my answers. I'm gonna do whatever I can to help get to the playoffs. But nah, that's definitely uh, that would definitely be a goal. Hopefully, one of these days. Hopefully, this year or whatever. You know, but whatever I can do to help get us to that to the, those extra games, um, that would be be a perfect start for this year. Honestly. What was the moment that you you know people who maybe aren't convinced or just to get to know Bryce Young a little bit better? People really like him. I mean, pundits really like him. We all know the pros and cons. Whatever he's new, he's a rookie. He's, only, he's one of three rookies to be starting this year uh, to start the season. What was the moment in camp or preseason or on the bus or the locker room where you were like, mm-hmm, I like this, he's got it? Yeah, it was it was OTAs. It was real early. Um, I mean, I know we're in, we're in, we're in pajamas, we're wearing OTAs, really, and, <laughs> uh, you know, shorts and T-shirts. But um, when you when you see, like, my, what I say is his pocket presence is amazing to me. Um, he When he steps up or tries to move around in the pocket, he's not trying to scramble. He's trying to just find a different – different, you know, different way to get the ball out. And he has a quick release. I, I like that too. So um, there's a lot, a lot of things that I like about him and all the stuff that he does off the field, of course. And he's he's very locked in and dialed into whatever he's doing. He's communicating to, with everybody, you know, uh, taking control of me and, and, and teaching us in meetings. Like it's, 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 it's pretty impressive to see, um, see him do that as a rookie quarterback too. So. What does he uh, does he remind you of Jalen at all? Because you know you're talking about what he can do on the field, but you were with Jalen, another Alabama guy, when he was a rookie. What are the differences maybe in them? Um, not really too much too much difference. Um, they're very similar. Uh, the way they approach approach every day, the way they where they work, where they practice, um, the way they're how hard they are themselves, and only difference is you know is 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 Jalen and. And, and Bryce is two different personalities. That's all. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? What's the difference? I, I, uh, uh, Bryce is more just, uh, they're both laid back guys. Yeah. And almost quiet. Like uh, Bryce is, Bryce is a little bit more goofier than Jalen. I say that. That's all I can say. Jalen's yeah, like, in Jalen's intense. I feel like he's Yeah, he's like very intense. He's a very intense guy. Yeah. Very intense guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's zeroed in. Listen, we got big news. I don't know if you saw this morning that Mike Evans, who's like an amazing, it's crazy, the business of this National Football League. I don't know if you saw this, like 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards, 1,000 yards, but can't come to a deal with his Buccaneers to keep him in the building. We don't know. Like They've got a deadline in place, Mike Evans. I know it's a, a division rival now, but it's new to you. Are You, you want to make a little pitch for the Panthers to maybe get a move to get Evans? Hey, hey, if he wants to come over here, I don't mind. But I mean, hey, just don't sign back to Tampa. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> that's good uh, advice. I mean, yeah, that's great advice. I mean, you can always come over here, but don't definitely don't sign back to Tampa. You know, go sign somewhere else in a different conference. Yeah, go sign somewhere else, not in the NFC South. We like it. But you said you like Thielen, and they seem to be connecting a lot. Is Thielen that guy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thielen. Thielen's a great guy. Um, just. This football aside, you know, Thielen's just a great, great, you know, great OG. We call him OG now, you know. Uh, yeah, he's just bringing, he's bringing the energy. He's practicing every day and, you know, working every day. And it's just great to see, you know, one of those 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 type of players, you know, to be around those type of guys and see how they work and how they carry themselves. And, yeah, it's just, it's, it's real good to see. And for him to connect with Bryce and he's just embracing each other, like, and I love it. I love to see it. Do y'all not play the Giants this year? You don't play Saquon? Yes, you have to, no? No, uh, unfortunately, I don't get to see my guy this year. I still see them Cowboys, though. Oh. I still see them Cowboys. Tell me about that. What are you looking they forward to? No, nah, they just might miss me, you know? Just <laughs> can't wait to play them. <laughs> People think they're going to win the Super Bowl this year. Oh, they always do. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're, when, we talk, <laughs> when we talk about these, you know, a lot of the headlines in the offseason, it was all about the running back spot, guys like Josh Jacobs, who's, you know, back, changed his number, all of that. Saquon, who I was just checking out the schedule, because I always love when you two play each other. The Jonathan Taylor thing, as you're seeing it play out, what are the thoughts going through your head? Um, I could say um, at this point, uh, guys are doing whatever they feel is needed, and I, I and I'm and I'm with them. Um, I'm happy that Josh finally found the agreement because at the end of the day, I know these guys want to play this season. Nobody mm-hmm. really wants to sit out, and that's uh, and this day is that's not really an option. I don't think anybody, as much as we want our way, I don't think anybody would sit out, especially uh, Saquon. So too and i would just say um everybody we're trying to you know make sure we're secured and safe just like everybody else you know everybody's getting these 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 big contracts and i don't know why everybody looks at the running back position and think it's just like a whatever position where we do a little bit of everything Mm -hmm. not a little a lot of everything and um it just it just sucks how we're being treated and just everybody assuming how you know how beat down we are. You know, it's just a whole bunch of assumptions and just I, I, I personally don't like it. But um we're we're at a point where we just gotta keep our head down, keep working. Yeah. Um I know uh the one flavor don't like you. I know there's thirty one other flavors that might so it might pull that trigger. So just keep working and, and keep balling out. That's all the only advice I got for myself and what other running backs around the league. It's so true, and then you just got to put yourself in the position to make the most money. And, like, then when it comes to negotiating at some point collectively, y'all can just unionize a little bit together and talk to each other and try to get a different – I mean, it's a unique position. That's the thing. It's a unique position. But like you're saying, the market's kind of the market. And now it's just about 2023, which you seem really excited about. You seem – I feel like you're, like, keeping a secret or something. Like, you're like, "Mm mm-hmm, just wait and watch. Mm, Yeah, I mean – no, not really. Not really. Just I'm just I'm just happy to be uh, start a new journey. Um uh you know, a new season is is always exciting after every season. I'm blessed to be in my 5th year in the league and don't take none of this for granted. I'm just looking forward to really going out there and and balling out again, you know, just keep this thing going. Yeah. I was with your coach, your former coach Sirianni at uh, training camp uh with the Eagles and he like still watches the Super Bowl loss every day. Like every yeah. day, and I'm just like, do you, are you going to miss anything about Coach Sirianni? Uh, he was yeah. crazy. Cool, cool. That's cool over there. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna miss miss my teammates for 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 uh, certain guys on that team. I really connected with, and you know, I'm just wishing them nothing for the best for them. But um, yeah, it was good vibes in in Philly, and I got nothing but respect for Sirianni for coming here and you know changing the culture and you know getting us to that big game. So within two years. Uh, we we saw the 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 the, the stretches that we kept making in the, within those two years, and it was real confident that we we could definitely make it to that big game last year. We we all really set it to ourselves, and we made it happen. Mm, now you got the Cowboys week eleven. That's the one I've got circled, but I think you've got okay. all of them circled because you've got big goals to improve on an insane twelve hundred plus yards. You're one of my favorite players. Good luck week one. It's the Falcons. I think you get to get your eyes on Bijan. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we got the Falcons, the Dirty Birds this week uh, coming up. So two division games coming up. So uh, it's a big, it's a big starting the season off right and with a bang. So uh, these two, these first, this first week is important, and the next week's gonna be important too. Miles, you're, I just love everything you do in the community. I can't believe I didn't even know you had a baby boy. Congrats on all of that, and good luck this season. Go Thank kill you. it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest Up and Adams content right on YouTube.